scores and stops in that order. And a lot of them. Taiwan Kinley. Step through. Off the glass. No. Off some dunk right there, too. That was not left. That was not left. That was very much so right. He left a poster on a couple of guys down low. <laughs> the point switching creates easy backdoor cuts and easy finishes at the basket. Carly Jones. As well as Murphy. And the ball finds his way to Mack and it gets back to Coleman. And Coleman, he's one of those guys you want to stay connected to. Look at that. He feels the defender. Great block right there. I don't know if that was a sick go. Like that. Get your Clippers right back. Only down by one. Get, keep it nice and blocked. Mark, handy play as the ball finds his way back over to James. And James gets deep. Look at Moon. Get nice deflection as Murphy couldn't get. Composure. Making sure you've got two guards on the, on the court right now. To the Nate Darling likes the Sanford Pentagon rims. Smart puts it up. That one is knocked away. And it's been, and it's been these guys uh, playing perimeter for the Clippers that make it. They some really controlled basketball. It, it wouldn't surprise me if he got a call to the big show. Can they get another? That's right for him. Gets down low. That's a nice play right there. Even better play by Moon right there. Great play. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Great defense by your Clipper. 8.40 to go. Skyforce using the double high pick and roll. Instead, they'll swing perimeter. Wow, nice bounce pass, Thompson. Control uh, by Oliver right there. And that's how you beat the zone, right underneath the basket. Uh, sometimes it's high flying, uh, but it's, lately it's been a lot of those assists that he's been able to make and getting people set, setting the table. And off the mark. 11 point game, under double digits. Oof. Erasure of the deficit. Oh, dangerous pass gets stolen. Here come the Clippers again. And there's Moses. The ball game, and it's, it's still not a fun venture. How many times do you lose the truth in a ball game? Only once. In the, I, that was more than enough. <laughs> for Alvin Caliente, that includes two three point play opportunities. This half for Moses Wright. Here's Wright. Good athleticism in the south for South Bay. It was a 15-point lead at the half. Seems like everything's falling right now for the Clippers. Move to right. Duck it at home. We're starting to see the G League MVP Frank Mason here tonight, AC. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just like his, his feel a good way of uh, the op those opportunities. He's single-handedly getting the Lakers big. Another one. What he had to do with the ball and not try and dunk the ball unnecessarily. But he had a little moon underneath him, a uh, point guard trying to contest, and that's not going to happen down there. Here's Moon throwing up the lob and right. Both teams shooting it well here in the second half thus far. Moon bounces it to right. Against the Birmingham squadron. So that was the loss you alluded to earlier. 107-102 setback. Clippers can do. Can they get a big three here? What, what are they going to get? As Moon like that gets the ball to Thompson, and there's going to be a. That's the largest of the game. They're going to answer for three on the up. Here's Moon driving to the basket, kicks it out to Darling. Couldn't make it three. Again, they get aggressive defense on the perimeter. George King is open. I've been two, so they got my basketball very well. As Moon gets it, gets it over to King. King puts up the three. That was clean. Just as clean. Just like I used to tell a guy by the name of Matthew Johnson. 
Thank you. Yeah, the, the, all the Clippers, uh, Coach Hewitt and his whole staff, they're all telling his, their team, watch the three, guard the three, let them drive to the perimeter to the basket, guard, guard that three-point line. And on their 14 points now for Carly. Moon, guarded by Hunt on the switch. Darling springs free, and he hits. back over to King. King just had a big three. Good first step. Gets the ball back out to Moon. Moon in rhythm. And that just looked clean. Your Clippers, they're... they're. So good one-on-one -on -one defense from Mack. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. The corner three is not... Guys. Moon, the up fake. The three. Got it. So Moon will wait for the action to come to him with Darling. Moon, he will fire. Quick trigger. Moon will try a three over in. You know, I think a lot of people watch Syracuse and Jim Beheim with that 2 3 zone, and you know, they think it's say hey, we just stay at the block. Moon, an extra pass. He gets it back. Sharon is caring for the Clippers. and uh, Great steal right there by Moon. Push it, keep your head up. You're clear for takeoff. Kiss it off the glass. Out to pass, he threw it away. Long lead pass, Moon, he can fly, catches it, lays it up. In a boxing match, just body shots. Eventually, puts it, how hard the Clippers have got to work to get into their sets and the rhythm. That's really going to start to pay off in the fourth quarter. As Moon gets the first step, gets the shot, and any possessions as the Agua Calalincha Clippers with just over a minute to go in the overtime. Look at that, kiss it off the glass. Don't McClung. Under 10 now. Moon going right. Lays it up high off the glass. See that? That's going to slow the Clippers down. You look at it. There are already 14 seconds. Only 14 seconds left on the shot clock as they get it over. That's a 10 seconds to get into your offense. And look at that. Moon kiss it off the glass. And getting you know, Frank Mason back out. Now you got two guys who, who are the head of the snake and make things happen very easily. Point starting to Coach Simon told me he wanted to see McClung develop into a more complete point guard. He's exceeded those expectations so far. Simon calling him arguably the best player on the court every game because he couldn't be happier with his progress. Taylor? It's not designed, it's just you, that's what you the best backdoor cuts when you're just playing off of one another. Answering basketball. Can they get a little bit more cushion? Look at Moon. Don't hurt nobody. Put on the in the second half. And now the team is trying to carry it on home. See if they can pull out a victory out of here. Moon gets the roll. Lead by 16. Moon puts on the brakes. Southgate. Here's Moon, sees a crease high off the... Moon, the lone starter on the floor right now for Paul Hewitt's club. They're 19 and nine. Uh, backing down, kind of had a look on his face like, we got to do more of that. That's easy for Fran. And then Moon gets the screen. And is able to flip it up for this uh, Wolf team. And now the Clippers. You want to want to make sure you stay within elbows range. And Thompson just checked in for your eyes how you take Clippers as well. As a foot man, as Moon gets to the spot, Ooh. that just looks cool. And now Moon loves it when he keeps his head up and brings it over. And that's what you want to see. You want to see him getting on the offensive side. Nice looking shot. Let it take Clippers as Moon brings the ball over. And Moon's always got his head up. Always looking a nice shot. That looked clean. That looked as clean. As Take advantage of this opportunity by going to TexLegends.com. All right, high scoring first quarter, Coach. Legends lead by two, and that.